Yeah, like that. Oh, I got him. He's on fire. There he is. Little invisible son of a frigger. Get wrecked. Oh. Oh, what is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back in surviving sliptopia. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Look at our world. It's unbelievable and amazing. What a beautiful day today. The sun is out. There's just a few clouds in the sky. Our iron foundry is iron foundrying. Our world is looking amazing. And we have now over here the gateway. Yes, on stream at twitch.tv slash slipgator. We went ahead and did some more work to the gateway. And I love what it had the way it came out. I love the way that it looked. It's super duper cool, man. Uh, and yeah, so it's a thing. Thanks for all the uh, thumbs up and support on the previous video that we did. We were building, kind of building this. We didn't finish it, but we built a bunch of it. Uh, and then on this video, make sure if you like it, don't forget, show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. You ready for this? Bam! Do you love how you can see the lens like that through there? All right, guys. So what do we do over here? Well, it may look like there's not a lot that's gone on uh, since you last saw the gateway. But honestly, an entire stream's worth of stuff and things got done. About four hours of working um, on our stream. And yeah, we added a couple of these quartz covered pillar bases with some blue uh, nether or <clears throat> pardon me, blether fire. Uh, we moved back the tripwire heart triggering mechanisms like so. So you can kind of get an idea of what you're walking into before these were very, very close up inside of there. So by the time you tripped the tripwire, you were kind of at the door. I like this a little bit better so we can kind of see into the door and out through the other side as we're going. But yeah, and then other stuff and things that we did over here. Check this out, you guys. See if we can just come up here for a little bit of a fly around. So give you a better bird's eye view of what went on. So you can see here there's a little bit of weird biome blending going on. Because this hill used to come back along here and kind of follow around over there. And then went down over inside of here. We've changed it up and built it out like so. And then we built out the ground around the, um, the gateway entrance here. And we changed over here how we get up and down from our wall pieces over here by the gateway um, added all the court stairs around it so we have this really cool shape that matches the shape of the gateway um, and I am gonna try to see if in world edit I can world edit this biome I don't know I don't know much about world edit or how it works um, I did a little bit of research on biome changing and stuff like that it seems like it's not super easy to do but I really don't like how that color changes there so it'd be great if maybe there's a way in world edit we could change that up over there but yeah so that's the stuff and things that we did here and we also did a little bit of work over in this area. We changed up how the uh, stairway over here was. Added a little couple of walkways that go out over there. And then down underneath here, we have never really figured out what we were going to do with how these aqueducts come into land. Now, over here, guys, we had done this. Like, our aqueducts kind of just empty out into these bodies of water over here. You can see right there. I think this one needs a little bit of work, actually. Over here, eh, we can change that up a little bit. And then this one needs to be finished. We never did finish this guy over here, but we'll do something similar to what we did over in that area. But yeah, we made a little bit of a cave deal. It was really, really fun, actually. It's just a little aesthetic piece. Uh, and now inside of there, you can see there's a little cave. There's actually some black wool back there to make it look like it goes kind of deep. And we added a couple of vines. Um, I originally had some glass panes and end rods in here. I decided to change it up and put in some iron fence or iron. Uh, yeah, iron fence. Uh, it looks really, really good. Um, and yeah, so the world is looking quite nice. Now, today, you might ask yourself, self what are we doing well i think it's time we fix this guy up right here so originally this building and we're just going to pop this door right off originally this building here was our villager breeder it was in one dude this is no where are you lava give me this plasma come to my rescue i just can't even have this get out of here nobody wants your stuff and things it's a terrible disaster where's the dude the the the, the guy is invisible you want some of this action right there Get out. I'm trying to do some building. Where are... Come on. And then... Yeah, like that. Oh, I got him. He's on fire. There he is. Little invisible son of a frigger. Get wrecked. Oh, ugh. no one won't, No one wants to trade with you. Goodbye, uh, ladder. <laughs> Two free leads, except my inventory is completely full. Is he done? All right, he's gone. All right, so originally this... Oh, wait, I got to clean my inventory out first. This was our villager breeder uh, in 1.142, and then it broke. Um, now, up on top here, 
you may remember that uh, up here we do have the setup for carrot farming, right? So up top here, uh, all the way up this guy, we went ahead and set up this custom farm. We kind of did something uh, community inspired where we have some hopper minecarts and some hoppers around these regular villagers. And then we have a couple of farmers farming carrots. Now, uh, down inside of here, we used to have an automated system. We could probably pop this off where uh, our carrots would be automatically dispensed down into our breeder. And now we're just using it to store carrots like so. So what we're going to do today is get this sussed out and changed around. What I want to do with the bottom floor here is make that guy into storage. Then I want to do um, like a sorting floor and then a floor of farming, a sorting floor to four or five. I think I got to see how big this is going to be because we need to do what is it? Four plants. And I don't want it to be any taller uh, than than the lens. The lens is our main building in this build. We don't want anything really to be bigger than the lens. Um, and so each one of these floors, I think, is five high. If we added four more deals onto it, that would be... No, we would need three, right? Because we need carrots, beetroot, potatoes, and wheat. So we would have to add 15 more levels to this. We can actually just go up to the top and see what that would look like. Just put a top on this or a side on this. It's 15 higher. I don't think that that will be that much higher. Um, oh, actually, 15 is not going to work because each level needs to have some space in it for... Mm, that's right. It's going to have to have some space for... Um, for sorting for uh, at least hoppers are gonna have to go in there but let's just take a look here and see if this was 15 higher how high would that be you see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen Oh, that's not bad at all. That's no, no, that's not bad at all. That's not going to be a problem. So yeah, we could add that a level on, but we're going to have to put, I think, at least a one block space in between each level. That means, unfortunately, and this is really going to stink, I think we might need to move this layer down a little bit to make it look a little bit better. Or we could add five more layers in between each farm layer and make this guy really, really high. That would be a lot of iron for a lot of hoppers, but that won't be a big deal. We've got a ton of iron over at our iron foundry there. So yeah, that's the plan for today, guys. We're gonna start to get working on this. I'm going to start building and I will be our bees, peeps. So first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, I've done a little bit of research on what we're gonna do here. And the thing that I think is funny, can you hear that? Can you hear them trading up there? So I looked at a couple of different farm designs that are out there because I was thinking maybe we would change this up. Now, a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing no longer, it seems to work uh, very well. A lot of the tutorials for automated villager farms, they say they work in 114. There's a lot of comments on them that say that they don't. Um, and so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just kind of going with the farm design we have. Now, in the interest, remember we were saying that we didn't like the fact that it was kind of like, I need really a one block space. We could maybe go like this, take these guys out right here, like so. How many blocks do I got? We got some more, just two. We Can we use it uh, like this? This was yeah, glass maybe, two. Just get rid of all this lava. Take all those guys out there. So yeah, um, I think we're just gonna end up using our design. And then we gotta take all this out inside of here. But uh, the other thing that we're gonna do, I think we're just gonna leave this the way that it is. So right now, we have this uh, five and then a five and then a five. I think what we might do is put a floor in next that's maybe like too deep. Uh, just something that we can walk inside of uh, and then use that for moving some of our items around. Uh, and then I think that we'll go two and then five and then two and then five. We need to add uh, how many of these deals we have to add? Um, three, right? So that means we need 15 plus four so it'd just be two a couple higher than what we have right up over there right now so it won't be that big of a deal and then we can make it look unbelievable and amazing we have to change this up everything we have over here is regular white glass too that's all going to get changed over to blue glass and we got to make this look much more slip gatory but yeah so uh i'll let you know what we're going to do but i think we're going to like i said continue with our villager design that our community made while we were streaming we're going to keep that going but all this stuff has to get torn down i'm going to turn the i think this entire thing down and then we'll probably end up, I don't know, filling this guy in. We could keep the floor. Yeah, maybe we won't tear down the walls and stuff. Maybe we'll just do the flooring. And then we'll keep everything else down inside of here. Maybe make this look a little bit more presentable. Recycle some of our maybe redstone blocks and stuff like that. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan, man. I'm into that plan. 
Okay, we have done some stuff and things, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have some areas ready on our second level for farming. I think over here, we're going to go ahead and do, I don't know, maybe wheat. It doesn't really matter. But I mirrored what we had below and have a majority of stuff set up. The first thing we have to do is get a fa two farming villagers in here. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. So I used to have glass separating these two areas and I found that it was best since we have two farmers in here to have two separate areas um, but I ended up changing it over to trap doors here and that works a little bit better it makes it way easier to get in and around and still stops them from moving uh, we went ahead and built this guy here uh, a big long extension to our villager trading deal these were bringing our villagers up into the fulcrum trading center but now it should I'm assuming. Yeah, that looks good down there. Uh, it should uh, bring these guys all the way up over into here. And then when that happens up here, like so, we'll go ahead and bring them down. And then the big thing I'm concerned about, and what I want to see if this is going to work correctly, is that we need to place down our job blocks for the composters after the villagers get in here. And we have to be really careful that we don't accidentally turn these guys down in here in our carrot deal. Those guys right there, those need to be, well, I, farmers, they, they, those need to be farmers. Uh, they need to, I guess they could still be a farmer, but we don't want them to be the farmers associated with the job blocks that are up on this top floor here in this next level. Uh, and I did decide to church up the build a little bit. I changed up a little bit of the design and we're going to continue to make this look a little bit better, but we changed up the design, added some, um, non-polished diorites in, changed a couple of things around, changed around the glass to make it look more sliptopia y And it looks really good like this, too. We removed uh, the slabs that were around the edges. But yeah, now we're ready to bring our villager over. So let's go ahead and head over to our villager breeder. We should be able to head up top here and then just go ahead and bring a guy out. It's like so. Past the Siamese twinsies. Uh, if we bring a villager get villager like so oh you know what this job block probably has to go let's pop that off and squirt that in there so there's no job blocks or mm, i don't think there are any unassigned job blocks in between here and there none that are unassigned so hopefully we're going to be able to get our guy up here and not a baby all right there's our villager he's not changing professions this is perfect he'll just squirt that into there no go why why do you hate me game Wait, what? All right, we got him. Is he going? All right, there he goes. All right, quickly now. Let's pop down over here. Squirt out and watch him head over into the system. Fly. Over here, over here. There he is. No, he did take a librarian job. Oh, no. I wonder why. All of those job blocks that are inside of there... Uh, our, uh, oh, please land. Yes. Are not librarian jobs. So he pops over into here. Like so. He's super far away from that block. I wonder if we set him up with a composter here, if he'll change jobs. So, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and pop off that guy. We'll pop off that guy. We'll take him out of there and then pop. So oh, crap. I hit him accidentally. All right. Pop all these guys off. Now, he's inside of here. He's a librarian. If we go like so... Oh, no. This could be a terrible disaster. Now, the thing that's odd... Oh, no. There's one job block over in the fulcrum that's unassigned. This is true. There is one job block there. He... Seriously? Hold on a second here. Let's pop over here. This right here is one unassigned job block right there. If we pop that guy off... Squirt that inside of here, perhaps. Everybody stayed. Oh, they're all going to stay because they're already locked in. Their trades are all locked in, so that shouldn't be a problem. As long as they have access to the job block, they will reset their trades. Let's pop back up over here and check out this guy. Did he switch back? Oh, no! Ugh, terrible disaster. Dude, he did not switch back yet. Let's set those back over there like so. As long as I don't trade with him and he doesn't have vision, eventually it might take a second, but he should reset. Let's go like that and like that so we can't jump up there. Uh, maybe we'll just have to wait. There! Ah, great success, ladies and gentlemen. He turned into a guy. Now, we can do carrot trades with him to lock him in, and we probably should go ahead and do that. Does he have? Or we could do an emerald trade. We don't have carrots or emeralds. But it seems to be working. Feels good, team. The next order of business, we actually need to get the other farmer up here and get him assigned 
to make sure he's ready to rock and roll as well. So let's go ahead and do that guy next. Villager number two on his way up. We kind of fell down a little bit. Let's pop over here like so and like so. Let's come down over this way. And right in there is probably a good landing spot for me. We can pop that guy off right there. Pop up over here. All right, so he's over here. He has no job. We'll take that out. We'll take that out. We'll pop him out here. Like that. Grab that minecart. Drop him down. All right, so he's down in this area now. We can kind of go like so and like so. Put, uh, oh, he's a little bit too tall. We have to let him move. All right, hold on a second. So this job block we want to have over here. If we go ahead and like so and like so. Pretty please. Yeah, great success. All right, that guy worked too. <gasps> I lost... Hmm. I had some blue glass. Uh, we'll go ahead and put some glass on this here in a second. What kind of trades is he looking for? Weed or potatoes to lock him in? I don't think I have the guys down below locked in, to be honest with you. I don't even know. But we can go ahead and lock these trades in. It looks like it's turning out to be night here pretty quickly. But those guys are GTG. Now we just got to get our uh, unjobbed villagers in here. Bring those guys over. Squirt them in there and there. Add our hopper minecarts and all of those things. Get the seeds going. And make this thing uh, next floor completely operational. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Some changes have been made to the farm. Some temporary uh, potato and beetroot farms have been made. And then we got some stuff and things going on over here. But I'm going to go ahead and fly. Oh, can I even just maybe very nicely oh get job mm, that didn't work at all all right so let's pop up to the second layer here i'm just going to show you that stuff and things are working in our new potato farm bam it's working unbelievable and amazing and this has only been on for i don't even know it's been a little while i've been doing some afking but um yeah it's up and running and working quite nicely in fact now that being said let's pop over to this guy and let's come up over here i think in the last clip of the video uh, i showed you guys that i had switched some stuff and things over in the center here and made them all trap doors now i had to switch them back there was a reason we had glass uh this farmer and that farmer will trade with each other uh, if we have trapdoors in the center all along here. So we don't want that. So I went ahead and switched it over back to glass. Just leaving one trapdoor in this area right here. GTG. Now, did I set this farm up to try to harvest wheat and sit here for about two and a half hours uh, trying to figure out why the wheat wasn't working, why the bottom farm and the top farm, having been built exactly the same, were not working correctly? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Is that why the video is a day late? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, and so, yeah, I spent a bunch of time trying to figure out why wheat wouldn't work. And I couldn't get the villagers to trade wheat. They only trade materials that they could utilize with breeding. So if I was to give them bread, they would go ahead and trade bread. Uh, but we can't have them harvest bread. They're only going to harvest wheat. So that wouldn't work. And I swear to God, I read it on the internet somewhere that the villagers would trade uh, in wheat. They won't trade in wheat. They'll farm the wheat. They will take the seeds and the wheat and put it into their inventories, but they will not trade it in between each other. Um, also went ahead and did a little bit of work on churching this up a touch. Just added a couple of pieces of blue glass with some uh, white creep behind it. And it's looking quite nice. In fact, it's pretty cool. I think we're gonna have to add a little bit more detail too. But yeah, so, so right now, carrots working and uh, potatoes working. So we got beetroot over here. I'm gonna harvest that up and start on the next level. Uh, but also thinking a little bit about how we're gonna do the storage, I decided that having the door in the back here kind of doesn't make any sense now, does it? It just isn't really making any sense that it's over there. The door to this build should be on this side. So we're gonna have to switch that up. Also, have to do a little bit of thinking of where we're going to bring down all of our things, all of our uh, vegetables and fruits and, well, no vegetables. So uh, where are we going to bring them down? So, uh, and potatoes. They're going to have to come down, I do believe, from the sides here. So we have three different things that we're trying to bring down in a hopper chain. Uh, carrots, potatoes, and beetroot. So why not bring them down right here in this space, like so, and then have them all kind of collect probably on this third level? Um, now, that being said, that means... I really don't need to bring down three things. I need to bring down two. So we already have carrots that are right here, right? Oh, that's got to be fixed right there. So we've already got carrots that are here, and they are working perfectly fine, and they're already being hoppered over to the exact area that they need to be. So let's pop that guy off. 
It's worth this guy over here like so. So yeah, our carrots are already right here. So we can go ahead and uh, not worry about bringing those guys down. So the beetroot and the potatoes have to come down. And what I'm thinking is that we'll do them on the sides here. This side on this side, uh, and then that side on that side. It makes perfect sense. Uh, and then if we need to get up and down, I think we're going to build something over here in the back. What will be the back? to get up and down into each level. Um, so we're gonna be working on all that. Now, next order of business, I gotta get some deer tay. We got some, some hot dirt action. We gotta pop over here and start extending a walkway up to the third level so that we can get all those things going. And I'm gonna start working on that, get that third level up and running. That will be our beast peeps. And we're back with massive progress. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got to come up here and do a little bit more carpeting to stop some spawning stuff and things from happening. We're carpeting up top here. Then I will fly out and show you our finished uh, product, basically. We're going to do a little bit more, uh, you know, detail work on it. But I've done some stuff and things, and all three of our farms are working great now. Let's go ahead and finish these guys up here. Oh, please tell me. One, two, three, four, five. No! I can't believe I don't have enough carpet. All right, we can pop over here. Right, uh, we should have some more. Yeah, like so. And then we got a little deal over here. So we can go ahead and make the last couple carpets over there. And we'll take a look at this guy. All right, so let's just go ahead and make uh, 30 more. Sounds good to me. Pop over here like so. We can take a look at the build. That's what she looks like, ladies and gentlemen. I decided to go ahead and use some of the composters on the side here, just because, I don't know, it gave it a little bit of something something, but we're keeping it uh, with the slip gator blue and white, and uh, it's got some uh, European pharmacy crosses here, kind of, sort of, uh, but they're not green. Um, and then down inside of here, I've decided to go with this design. Dude, our beets, they're not doing too good. Maybe they still have to harvest a little bit more. Uh, it's day right now, so they should be harvesting. The carrots are looking great because we had a ton already in the system. And these guys, the farmers up there, have a ton of carrots in their inventory. Uh, over inside of there, our potatoes are doing quite well. And the beets, I think, are just warming up. Now, I decided to go with this design where our chests are stepped back the entire way. And I think that we're going to leave these visible. But I do want to go ahead... And kind of decorate this room a little bit more as well. The Some of these chests will probably be visible. We'll probably end up doing something like this. And like this and like that. And kind of setting some blocks up the steps as we go. Something like this. To this effect. So that we can see all the chests. But still there's going to be, I don't know, something over here that looks kind of nice. I'll figure it out here. Una memento. But something like that. But the reason that we do this is because now if we take carrots out of here, it'll automatically fill up uh, from all of the chests. And all of the carrots all the way up the chain will all filter down to the bottom chest each time. So a little bit different design than what we used in our storage area there. So yeah, and then on the sides here, we went ahead and used a little bit of diorite fencing with a little bit of glass painting. Um, and that's covering up our hopper chains that come down each side. Uh, in the back area over here, in order to access each one of the areas, we've gone ahead and made a little bit of a deal we're using some birch wood buttons to kind of get inside and then this is where you can see kind of what's going on here so this is our carrots oh wow see there's like a massive amount dude there's still i can't even wait what is that mm, something might be wrong over here actually hold on a second we got that hopper going into there that hopper going into there wait is that how many carrots these guys have that's insane this hopper does go wait wait just a second here does that go straight down? No, it goes that way. These all should be working correctly. Holy crap, man. There's a massive amount of carrots in the system. All right, and then up in the next level here, we change this around now. What I've done is put glass all the way in, but now we have trap doors in the corners here so we can come inside and kind of see what's going on. Each one of these, oh, that guy's gotta go. Pop that guy off right there. Like, oh crap on a cracker. Oh no, dude, I don't have my hoe either. I'll have to come back up to grab it and go get it. I know I don't have it on me. So yeah, this goes all the way up ah, to the top. And uh, yeah, we can access each one of the floors from this location right here. And it's looking quite nicely, in fact, quite nice, in fact. Uh, yeah, and it's all working. Everything is working. Let's go check out our beats again. Fingers crossed. I can show you guys on camera that our beats are working. Actually, it's not 9,000. I know it's daytime, so it just became day. So I know that right now they're actually harvesting. They harvest at, I think, 1,000, uh, and then at 9,000 ticks, I do believe, is when they go ahead and do um, their trading. So that's not till like, the p.m. when the sun's maybe over in that area right there. But, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm kind of down. I think that there's uh, a little bit more... Like I said, detail work that we could do. So perhaps I think adding in some of these guys. Why don't we take a look at 
you know what, right here in the corners, uh, like so and like so, I think something like that would be good. We might go ahead and add some of these over here too. Just a little something something to give this build a little bit more detail because it is kind of in a raw state right now. It's kind of in its raw form. Mayhaps we'll go on the, hmm, what if we were to, actually, let's do it like this and like this. Pop these guys over here on the sides like so, maybe right there and right there. Take this guy off, take that guy off. But yeah, some little lantern details and also around the bottom edge here. I think we could add a little bit more something, something. So let's go ahead, that, that guy right there, I think we did. This guy over here we did. This guy over here. Add a little bit more uh, detail like I was saying. Um, up in here, maybe right there we add another lantern. Looks pretty good. I'm down to clown with that. I think some more uh, detail around the bottom here too. We can maybe encircle it, encircle it, encircle it. No, encircle it uh, with some more blocks and kind of give it a little bit more something, something. But yeah, each level is working. Um, and I don't think that we're going to worry too much about sorting out our beats uh, from our beetroot seeds. We're just going to kind of leave those how they are. Dude, there's so many carrots in the system. It's crazy. And we got a couple more potatoes in there. That's probably just from them harvesting near there. But yeah, so um, on the top floor, and I just want to give you guys a little bit of a, a, a heads up. If you're trying to recreate this system in your world, a couple of things to really keep in mind and remember. When you initially get your villagers, not the farmers, but the villagers that the farmers are going to be trading with, when you initially get them into the system here, they are going to sit low in the hopper. Now, these guys you can see are higher in the hopper. Uh, initially, their head tops of their heads will be like right there. That won't work for you. So what you're going to want to do is climb up on top of this slab here or one of the slabs, hold shift, look down, get a water bucket, and really quickly put some water down and then pick it back up. Um, you can do that before you set your hopper mine carts, and then that would be make it so that the hopper mine carts aren't affected by the water or moved. Um, and then your guys should sit a little bit higher in the hopper. Uh, next thing, gotta remember, guys, remove your... Uh, oh, wait, is there one right there? Is that a thing? No, I don't think so. I think I got them all. Yeah, remove all your rail from underneath your hopper mine carts. If you don't do that, it also can seems to uh, cause some problems. So, yeah, but other than that, everything seems to be working pretty good around here. Uh, and everything is set up the correct way, I do believe, which is freaking great, man, because this has been a heck of a project, especially the two and a half-ish hours that I spent. Oh, crap, we need some carpet up here. The two and a half-ish hours I spent trying to figure out why uh, I couldn't get my wheat trades to work. Oh, and then over here, too. Let's grab those two guys. There we go. Feels good, team. Now, I'm just really concerned about this building looking good. Um, I kind of wish almost that it was a little bit taller. If it was a little bit taller, um, I think it would look a bit a bit better in the world. And I'm not really sure about the composters. Uh, I almost feel like, I don't know. <laughs> it kind of seemed like a good idea at the time. I think some of you guys, I bet you about half of you guys will really like the composters and half of you really won't. So, but other than that, I really do like this. Um, now, this door is raised up one block as well because the ceiling in this bottom floor is raised up one block. Um, so that guy, that door is a little bit different looking than the other ones if you're wondering what's going on. And everything else should be pretty uniformed here. So I think I just want to do a little bit more detail work over here, kind of making things look a little bit better. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be our beast peeps. But so far, so good. Everything's working. All righty, you guys. I think we're going to button this guy up and call it a day. I did a little something something inside of here. I think we need to add some more stuff, though. Um, and I'm not quite sure how I like it. It's kind of interesting when you're moving around. We added some glass panes up inside of there, and then I kind of covered the fronts of these guys. Uh, some of these trades aren't working out. Again, I've read that villagers will trade beets, and we have, like, a stack in here and some seeds. But it doesn't seem like they've been trading very much. And it's been a few days. So I'm not really sure what's going on up there. Carrots? Oh my god. So many. Uh, we had so many built up in the system. So that's working out really good. And the potatoes are working great. So, I mean, I'm going to call it a day. At the very least. Even if I'm completely wrong around the around, about the beets as well. You know what? Uh, we got carrots and potatoes. And we built a cool building that I really like. I added some vines in. I took out some of the pluses. I think there's too much of that going on there. It was a little, uh, yeah, something, something. But like I said, I feel like there's some more detail that we can add around here. I just did a really small edge around the entire building. And that's just because I want there to be a little bit of grass between the aqueduct over here and this area right there. So we need to add some paths in and maybe some plants and other stuff and things like that. But yeah, for right now, I think we're going to call it a day. It's been a long build, you guys. And thanks for coming along on the journey. Make sure if you like the video you saw, please don't forget. Show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.